we are at the ITU headquarters in Geneva, where of course it's the first day of the AI for Good Global Summit. And I'm really pleased to be joined here now by Cynthia Brazil. She is Professor of Media Lab at MIT. Well, Cynthia, thanks very much for being here. So, why are you here and what are you actually um, part of in terms of the dialogue? Yeah, so I am thrilled to be here. This is uh, the second event I've been at, a United Nations uh, event, where the topic of AI has been discussed as a way of potentially accelerating how we can uh, achieve the sustainable development goals. And tell me, what is it precisely, because you work in education, you work in social robots, mm -hmm. what, what does that fit into this discussion? Yeah, I think, you know, one of the most poignant discussions today right now is how can incredible incredible technologies like AI that we're seeing, you know, make huge advancements in many sectors, truly benefit everyone, truly, you know, benefit the world versus just the few. So for my own work, I'm very passionate about education in particular and the application of AI to help accelerate uh, education for all as part of sustainable development goals and literacy education in particular. And how does AI affect that? So, you know, in the area of education, there's tremendous promise in terms of developing personalized, highly effective, uh, measurable outcomes for people through AI. So we're starting to see you know, the development of uh, uh, computer tutors for people of all ages in various domains such as mathematics and so forth, science. We're starting to look at it for younger children around early literacy, early childhood learning is a critical time to intervene. But it's really the promise of scalable, affordable, personalized education that's accessible to everyone. And a lot of that is around just harnessing the fact that mobile devices like Android phones are getting into many, many developing countries. So there is increasingly a way to reach children through technology. The question is, now what is the educational content and what is the underlying artificial intelligence to make the educational process as effective as it can be for children? Now one area you've also worked on is social robots. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. So social robots is a, it's a branch of robotics and artificial intelligence that really looks at the question of how do you design intelligent machines that can work collaboratively in partnership with people. When people work with one another, it's not just about the task and the decisions that are made, there's also a lot of interpersonal, social, and emotional factors to effective teamwork. So it's really taking a shift from the kind of old paradigms of machines that are designed to replace people and really think about how do you now design intelligent machines that really augment and enhance and collaborate effectively with people to amplify human output. Finally, so if, I, if we met up again in 10 years from now, what will you have told me have changed since today and 10 years from now? I think a number of things will have changed. I think in certain areas such as education, because it can benefit from, from digitization and artificial intelligence, I think we'll see much higher rates of education and literacy rates over, all across the world in, in 10 years. I think in the area of robotics and the workforce, we can certainly expect to see a number of traditional uh, markets and job characteristics change flexibly over time. That's always the case of any sort of new impactful technology in the workforce. But I believe AIs are going to play a critical role in the education and retraining of the workforce as well. We are also seeing a global demographic shift towards global aging. So we're seeing that caregiver support ratio uh, get more challenging over time as fewer working age people are there to support a larger percentage of aging population. There again, I think augmenting the workforce with AI technologies and robotics is going to be another important change we're going to see in the next 10 years and decades looking forward. Okay, thanks very much, Cynthia. Okay. So that was Cynthia Brazil, who's a professor at MIT in the Media Lab, talking to us about social robots and the future for education. Okay. Thank you.